اسلام سرايا المرابطين استهداف قاعد تمشي Among the tens of thousands of New York City waiters, many are aspiring artists or actors looking for a day job that'll pay the bills. They're following in the famous footsteps of artists like Sandra Bullock and Jennifer Aniston, and singers like Madonna and Mariah Carey. But over a thousand New York City restaurants were forced to close because of COVID-19, and tens of thousands of jobs disappeared. I used to work at uh, Red Lobster. I used to work at Red Lobster. I was... Um... Oh, I served you. Good, good. Uh, no, no, I was, a, I was a dishwasher. I used to scrape shrimp in the garbage cans and then load up the dishwasher, man. And that was my real job. Jen Lyon is a concert promoter. She says she has noticed fewer talented musicians available for work since COVID. Many have left New York City for good because restaurants and nightclubs are closed and can't accommodate them. The Lady Gaga story. If Lady Gaga didn't play in small clubs in New York, she, we wouldn't have a Lady Gaga. Aren't we glad we have her? Bruce Springsteen. You know, I mean, all of these artists that, are, that make the stories and soundtracks of our lives, all of those artists who were working within the restaurant industry to maintain living in New York, to become artists, have now had to make different life choices and have had to leave New York. Before the pandemic, one could spend an hour in line at restaurant Stardust on Broadway. Once inside the venue, waiters sang to entertain the customers. You sing with all the voices of the mountain. Today, Kevin Ray and Yulia Proshina, both former Stardust employees, are fundraising to support their fellow singer waiters. It's about 200 or 200 plus people. Um, we. Everybody is trying to find their own path right now. Some of them are creating their own music or something else. Some people are probably going in a totally different direction away from the music, which is kind of sad. We had a lot of talented people here. The flexible work schedule allowed Kevin Ray to compose music and go on tours. Today, with Future Uncertain, he writes songs about Six Feet, the now notorious social distance. Six feet. You know, it's, it's everybody's livelihood. It's allowed us to live in this city. It's allowed us a, an opportunity to perform, to, to uh, hone our craft, and, uh, and to have fun while doing it. Artist Rachel Berry has lived in New York for 15 years and worked many different jobs, but only bartending left her enough time and energy to focus on art. The flexibility that comes with part-time work for full-time pay has has essentially given me the creative freedom to do anything else I want on the side. I mean, you can't be creative, you can't perform, you can't write when your, when your, you know, um, your basic needs are in jeopardy. I, I worry that we're going to lose something and who knows if we can get it back. According to the U.S. Department of Labor, about 270,000 people worked in New York City restaurants before the pandemic. Today, it's less than 70,000. And while the dynamic continues to be like that, fewer and fewer young, talented people will be able to afford to look for their dream in New York. For Anna Nelson in New York, NRI's Mealy News.